What is up guys, it is Arrow the Maniac here, and today I'm bringing you a glitch video on the map Asylum for Call of Duty World at War on the Wii version. I don't know if this works on any other version of this game, and what it is is going to be the rooftops on Asylum. All it requires is a simple satchel jump. If you don't know how to do that, you can check the description for a link to a video that teaches you how to satchel jump in this game. So it's a height satchel jump up onto this ledge, and once you get into this room, there's nothing really too special in this room. There's two things I want to show you before we move on. First off is this window that has an invisible uh, wall right in front of it, and you can't go and peek out the window. That would have been really cool if you could, but you can't. Um, also, there's this hole over here which you can fall through, and you don't want to mess that up. Um, after making that nice satchel jump. Now a satchel jump is about a 50-50 chance of making it. It's, it's not a difficult satchel jump. You'll probably get it. Now up here on this roof, once you jump through that thing, um, this kind of reminds me of Koga's Gym on Pokemon Red and Blue. There's invisible walls everywhere and you kind of have to just work your way through it. You cannot walk on this white part, unfortunately. It's entirely blocked off by an invisible barrier also. And again, once you find your way through here, it becomes an easy part once you get to the other side. So. You can come over here now and land on this invisible wall or floor thing. And what this invisible floor is here for is it is to prevent people from jumping out of map from in the map regularly. So um, it's a barrier so you can't get out. Now if you want to get back on that rooftop right there, all you got to do is come to the side and then jump on the wall up here and you know, you're back up here. Same thing applies to this side. You can get back up on the wall from here. And that is pretty much that. Now, in this next part, you're going to see there's a couple, a few invisible rooms that you can get into. And I used to panic when I first played this game. I used to be like, oh, man, I can't get out of here. I'm just going to kill myself. But I just recently found out you can get out, and it's very simple, actually. I don't know how I didn't notice. Uh, this is a little kitchen room, if you don't know what I'm talking about, right above it. And all you got to do once you're stuck in here is just go right up this little ramp, and then you're set. Um, so it's pretty simple and nothing to that. So now we're going to move on to the next part. Back to the place where you just made the satchel jump up. Um, if you come over here to this side of the building, you can actually edge the building itself. Don't fall into the grass to the left. You'll, you will die. And uh, right where that dead body's at and where I just ADS my weapon, that is a room. If you go over there, you the wall will close behind you basically and you won't be able to come back to where we're standing right now. So you will have to kill yourself. Now also in this next part is kind of hard to explain, but what you want to do is get the best leap possible best 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 leap you can and once you do it you'll be stuck in the roof like I am right now if you do it good it's not really something you can practice it's kind of just a luck thing um, once you're in it like this you're gonna have to kind of awkwardly move around I'm kind of like half and half in the wall right now so it's kind of freaking out but if you do get a perfect leap like I did you can throw a satchel charge down and satchel jump out of this wall even though it makes no sense and then you're bam like that and there you go cool so now you're out, but unfortunately there's an invisible wall to my right right now, and there's an invisible wall over by the tree, so I can't really go anywhere. I'm just stuck on this part of the roof. So um, that is pretty much that for this part of the map. Now we're going to go back over to the invisible wall or invisible floor area, and if you come over here, you can see that there's these pillars and gate out of the map right here. If you land on this one, you won't have any falling damage, and you can come land on the grass. Now as you can see where the fence that right where Riot lands, um, that fence is walk throughable, so if you ever want to go through it, you can. Now there's a peak on the under map, and, and nothing too special over here. It's just some grassy field, and there's a fence that you can see in the map from, and that's pretty much it. Now if you actually really want to, you can actually satchel jump over that wall if you have any desire to, or you can do what we're about to do in the next clip. Um, again, if you go too far to the forward or too far to the left, you will fall off and die like that. Now, if you want to get to that spot where I said you could satchel jump from, all you want to do is land on the pillar like we did last time, ignore all the dead bodies on the ground, and then jump to the next pillar that's directly in front of you, like this. Once you do that, you can jump to the wall, and then that's pretty um, self-explanatory. You just edge the wall over there where Riot's at. Now, again, we landed in that grass spot was where we just were at, but this side, if you fall on that side, you will die. As you see, my grenade never exploded and never landed. It's just falling forever and eternity, and you'll never find it ever, ever, ever. So... If you edge this wall um, forward, here's where we just were just a second ago, uh, you can go to the next portion of the fountain area is what I like to call it, which is there's a fountain right there, as you can see the wall. And uh, I've failed many times getting on this wall that we're standing on right now, so my Wiimote freaks out right here, watch this. And it almost sends me off the cliff because I was holding forward and it decided to turn right by itself. If I kept holding forward for like a millisecond longer, I would have walked right off the cliff. So thank God I didn't. I would have been pissed. <laughs> so uh, this is the last part of the glitch. All it is basically is you could just walk right off into this little uh, room right here. This is the same room where you could start to jump over. I just mentioned in the last clip. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please push the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Thanks to Riot for joining me to do the glitches with me. And that is pretty much it. All right. Doodles.